wings to fly won't take you to the stars. Use the metal for a boat and you won't sail too far. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal pots about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret pin code, pin code, pin code, Science can be tricky, it can overheat your brain. Science can be hard to chew, each bite can be a pain. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal pots about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret pin code. noticed our society is feeling a little less colorful. I'd say not to panic, but frankly, I have no idea what's going on. I mean, it's under control, but here, Daco can tell you his theory. Daco, go ahead. Surely there's some scientific reason for our pallor. My theory is a virus has infected everyone in our town. A virus that attacks melanin. Uh, okay, but I don't eat melons. Melanin isn't something you eat. All our cells have DNA, which influences what we look like. DNA are like a set of instructions for every living thing. Our eyes, features, and even our skin color are all determined by these tiny little molecules inside us. And one of these things that determines our appearance is melanin. Melanin is a pigment that gives us color and protects us from the sun. It's found in the hair, skin, and fur of almost every animal. If we don't have any melanin, we're at the mercy of the sun's radiation. Without this gene, we all turn white. Why are you talking about genes? How are clothes going to help us? Since you mention it, I suggest you put these on. Every part of ourselves is more sensitive to the sun without melanin. One more thing! We have a plan, so no need to panic. While we enjoy looking like ghosts, Daco is going to head over to his laboratory and mix up a cure to return us to our old colorful selves. <laughs> Get it? That's right. I'll find it in no time at all. Um, do you need any lab assistance? I really need this cure, Daco. Uh, I guess it couldn't hurt. Then I'll offer my help. Thank you, Rosa. <laughs> any bit helps. <sighs> we can't even go on a walk, since the sun will apparently bake us alive. Chico! We can play with trains without going outside. In a bit. Something weird's going on. Hey, man. Don't insult my train set. Chugga chugga choo choo, chugga choo choo choo. I meant with this virus. There has to be some reason it attacked us. Well, maybe it's something we did. I caught a virus once after I found a bunch of food on the ground. <laughs> Still don't know why I got sick. <laughs> Happens for no reason. No. You got sick because you're just gross. There's a scientific reason here. Oh. Hey, you know what we need? A giant spoon. So for Halloween, <laughs> we can dress up as vanilla ice cream. 
the scientific discipline we'll be using today is known as biotechnology. It means we'll be manipulating or changing things at the molecular level. Everything has molecules in it, including cheese sandwiches. DNA molecules are what make up our bodies, so we need to get on their level to understand them. Every living thing consists of proteins. These proteins are projected by our DNA, kind of like a million architects designing one big house. Protein like in an energy bar? Not quite. Every gene works tirelessly to write the genetic makeup that makes us, us. They each create a totally unique protein and send tens of thousands of them as instructions. Our job today is to find the gene that caused us to lose our melanin and figure out why this guy decided to stop working. Sometimes in science, you need to find unusual solutions to unusual problems. And with this problem, my idea is to use the virus. The virus? But I thought viruses were bad, aren't they? That's true, <laughs> my white woolen friend. But we can create an artificial virus that will do exactly what we tell it to do. Let's get working! There's much to be done! Also, nobody touch anything. Viruses can get pretty dangerous and create something scary. <laughs> Why are you going out in the middle of the day? You'll get burned. It's all too weird. We should go and investigate. Ah, you're lucky I brought my detective hat. Where did that come from, anyway? Viruses are actually very interesting. When a virus is inside a body, it isn't able to move by itself. <laughs> However, they sneak into a cell and take over like a parasite. Look closely. I'm sorry, Vegetable, you're a test subject. When the virus enters a cell, it immediately releases its own DNA out to do its dirty work. The virus DNA takes over the job of the regular DNA and starts creating more messed up virus DNA. These new viruses multiply and stick to other cells. It keeps going on and on. Eventually, the organism's original DNA has been completely changed. So what are you saying? That we just gave this poor radish an illness? No, I'm still gonna eat it, but we used an artificial virus. This practice, known as synthetic virology, will release just the right protein we need. These new good little proteins will go over and help all the damaged cells. And then, if all goes well, they repair the damaged cells. Wow, a brilliant concept. <laughs> In fact, I'll volunteer to take the first test of the new and... Uh, oh. um, well, this is why we call them experiments. And this is why I always buy organic vegetables. You want to know what I think? This was caused by an excess of sugar. That's why we look like sugar cubes or sugar spheres. I... This is all just a hoax. <laughs> Not our fault. <laughs> I don't think this is Reiki caused. It's just natural code changes. While they fiddle with cells, I've got a practical solution. <laughs> Roll in waterproof paint. I look just like my old self. Too bad I only have one shade. <laughs> I've got a story that might help us. A long time ago, I knew an elephant. <laughs> when I was just a young fledgling, I traveled the world and saw exotic places. But this elephant I met was the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen. When I was... Yes, she was all that in a bag of peanuts. But her most distinguishing feature was... She was completely white. 
These white elephants had a specific term for their coloration, albino. It comes from the Latin word albus, meaning white. I never thought it was contagious. But why would it start now? I'll need this for evidence. Well, uh, that's quite a good question. Uh, maybe I'm my immune system fought it off for years. You know, because I'm so uh, strong and powerful and all that. But maybe after years of fighting off the disease, I've finally succumbed. And my negligence has turned everyone albino. Holy carrots! Now if the whole world turns albino, it'll be your fault! I have great news! We have finally managed to find the cure, and we'll be back in no time. If anyone asks about the radish, we'll just say that it's a new species. Now, before we release this, we will say the results were a bit unexpected. What on earth? It's gorgeous. We'll be purple? Everyone, tell me, which one of you would like to go first and try this miraculous color vaccine? Huh. Let me try this crazy stuff. Still think it's a hoax. <laughs> yeah, I'm back! <laughs> me next! Me next! <laughs> I knew it wasn't a hoax all along. Well, at least I got to wear my detective hat today. Yeah, right. I'm now, much wait a second. Pink. There's one full syringe left. Um, excuse me, who didn't get one yet? Oh, yeah! Look, Chico's not here! Chico! There you are! Taco used his science stuff to find the antidote! Look! Why do these things always happen? Uh, buddy? Is there some sort Hello? of meaning to any of it? I wonder if we... Oh! Who cares? You'll be purple soon! So I thought melons? Why is he talking oh, about melons? Oh man, I can't believe I forgot to add color to the animation. It's almost like you went to art school for nothing. Yeah, well, I think my talents would be better put to use on the script. Yeah, it really needs work. But we've got more episodes to do. Who came up with that virus idea? Some new guy. Anyway, we should probably keep an eye on Chico. It seems he might be, uh, catching on. Shh. Um, did you just hear something? Yeah, myself. It was nothing. Never mind. Hello? 